Galatians chapter 5, verse 1, the apostle writes and he says, It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Mm -hmm. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Okay. It is a very good day to you, dear viewer. Welcome to our great controversy series. Today, we are looking at chapter 11, the protest of the princes. Mm -hmm. Who were these princes? Okay. What were they protesting against? Mm -hmm. With me to delve into this issue is Brother Francois, Brother Tabella, Brother Brighton, and Brother Nube. My name is Modesta Mregui Masiwa. And before we go into today's pro proceedings, I am going to ask Brother Nube to give us the opening prayer. Our kind and loving Father, I want to thank you this day for your message. Here is a protest that is mm -hmm. meant by your people to bring right. We do pray that as we live, we live the same style and same conduct. Sin cannot be tolerated. We want to live for you. Bless us as we delve in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 The protest of the princes. Mm -hmm. Like I asked before, who were these princes? Mm -hmm. mm. And what were they protesting against? Mm. So today, one of the main issues that is going to come out is the issue of religious liberty. Yeah. What is religious, religious liberty? liberty. Mm. Brother Francis. Uh, if I may just put on my own words, uh, whenever you speak about religi religious liberty, you're talking about uh, someone being given a freedom to be able to, uh, to worship. Mm -hmm. Because there's, there's someone who has made everyone. So everyone has, God has given to everyone that consciousness to mm -hmm. want to worship them according to the dictate of their own conscience. Yeah. So when you speak about uh, mm. uh, religious liberty, you're actually saying that you are free. When it's come to your relationship with the one that has made you, you are free to worship anyhow. So the medium that are going to be used for you to be able to connect with that uh, supernatural power or God himself, for us Christians, we believe in God. So it depends upon you. So no one else should, shouldn't be able to dictate how you should do it, when you should do it. So you should be free to do it whenever you feel like you should do it. Yes. Mm. So we are talking about freedom of conscience. Oh, yes. Yeah. We've seen time and again the papal room, or papal room, rather, asserting their dominance by denying people this uh, uh, this right that is religious mm -hmm. liberty. Yes. Mm. They impose their own rules, which are designed basically to control to control your behavior, mm. such that you can fatten them, you can fatten their bellies. Yeah. And so, what they care about is just money. Mm -hmm. And so they deny they deny the masses uh, the, 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 they deny the masses the truth for their own sakes, mm. and the the protest of the princes was a protest against this uh, behavior. Okay, the issue of religious liberty yeah. and the protests mm -hmm. of the princes. Mm -hmm. This is why the princes actually protested. You see, to give you a bit of some context. We have been look at, uh, looking at martyrs and, and reformers. Yes. And uh, the, when the Roman um, Empire realized uh, how much this gospel was flaming, how much mm. this gospel was spreading, <coughs> then they decided that maybe we need to suppress this gospel. Them trying to suppress the gospel gave rise to the protests mm. of the princes. There were some areas which had not received the gospel yet. Mm -hmm. The Roman Empire dictated that those areas don't receive the gospel mm. anymore. Yeah. There were some areas, Brother Nube, yes. that had received the gospel, yes. but not enough mm -hmm. of the light. Mm -hmm. And the Roman Empire dictated that these areas don't receive any more light than yeah. they already have. Yeah. Mm. Actually, what they wanted was that even the little light mm. that they had was to be extinguished. Yeah. If this edict were enforced, the Reformation could neither extend, yeah. whereas yet it was unknown, yeah. nor be established on solid foundations. Mm. This is what their force was all about. But you know what Hebrews 4 verse 12 says? Yeah. For the word okay. of God is living and Amen. powerful Amen. and sharper than any two-edged two sword. 
Lord. Lord. Yes, brah. Piercing even to the okay. division of Amen. the soul and spirit, Amen. and of joints and marrow, yeah. and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Yes. When they realized that this gospel yeah. that was going around was actually living and powerful, mm. in Hebrews it's described yeah. as a double-edged <laughs> sword. It separates even the body and yeah. the soul. Yeah. And when they realized the flame of this gospel, the mm. power yeah. of this gospel, then they decided we need to suppress this gospel. Yeah. Because had that gospel, mind you, came mm. to light to everyone, yes. their source of bread yeah, was going was to gone. be extinguished. Gone. Because they, their source of bread was them misleading the people. Yeah. And so the, the princes, when they realized this, they decided to protest against the Roman Empire. Yeah. And they wanted to bring the truth to the people mm. so that the people may see the truth. But unfortunately, we'll realize as we proceed with the chapter, yes. that the more the, the, the Protestants wanted to bring the light to life, the more the Roman Empire wanted to suppress the light because the light, yeah. uh, Mr. Ngobi, yeah. was actually the source yes. of bread. Mm. Yes. yes, it is a privilege to note this, Brother Ngobi, as you just mentioned, protest of the princes. Oh, yes. Uh, I, I dissected and said, okay, uh, protest alone, what does it mean? Formal objection. Mm. Mm. Not, not, not going on the street and memorying. Formal. Objection. Formal. I'm writing a letter. Here you are. This thing does not work. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. So the princes are community leaders. Mm. Yes. And the setting is in Germany. Hey. And the year there is 1529. Mm. Uh -huh. And they say, you know, if we sit down and sleep and doze, this liberty of ours mm -hmm. and our generations to follow will not get it. Mm. So we rather stand up when? Now. Mm. Mm. And so you, you realize that as we're going with this chapter, viewers, uh, the great controversy. It's a beautiful book. Beautiful. Better have it. Because what does it do? It brings in history mm. things that happened. You cannot say no mm. because this thing happened. And it has some chronology. Yeah. Yes. You, you know, I, I, I had the beauty of looking at um, Proverbs, Proverbs 18, verse 10. The name of the Lord. Is a great tower. tower. Mm. Yes. Those who run unto it oh. are safe. Yes. So our safety is nowhere else except in the word of God. Mm. Amen. So we cannot, we cannot, and we should not, not continue accepting things that we see, that this thing is actually destroying our peace. Mm. Mm. Because by, by right, each person had a right to worship. Oh, yes. Mm. And they look, uh, if you go to page, um, I think it should be page 198, mm. Mm -hmm. they even say they wanted to oppressed that you couldn't even have the gospel preached mm. in your own home. Mm. No. In other words, you wouldn't pray in your home yes. because that could become a criminal offense. Mm. Yes. Mm. And so my worship now is, that's really, really just what we're talking about. Yes. So the princes sat down and said, no, we cannot operate that way. We cannot accept it. Mm -hmm. They stand up for the right. For the right. And that's the duty we have, all of mm. us, mm. as God's people. Oh, it's very beautiful to see that the great controversy, it's, it always found its way on how to unfold. Yes. yes. You see, the warfare which began in heaven, we have gone in so many ways, and the devil used different strategies on how he wants to conquer humanity. Sometimes he goes straight with a sword to try and, you know, exterminate and kill. Yeah. Uh, he probably used, some, sometimes he used uh, corruption in terms of bringing heresy into, into, into the group of individuals yes. who actually claim the yes. gospel. And today we are looking at him now going after to try and in, imprison and enslave yeah. the mind mm, yeah. from exercising themselves, from, you know, worshipping this de I mean, deity. Now, Genesis chapter 3, you mm, know, yes, verse yes. 15, yeah. it also comes to life whenever you look at what God has actually declared mm. from the beginning. It says, I will put and I will put enmity between thee yeah. and the woman yes. and between thy seed and her seed yes. and it shall bruise thy head and thou shall bruise his heel. So the warfare continues yes. mm -hmm. and it will have to continue until when Christ comes back. So the conscience of men, yes. somewhere, somehow, because the conscience, that's what, as the Bible says, as men thinketh, yeah. so what is he. You think with the mind. So if you can enslave me from the mind, then you have actually taken hold of me. Yeah. So the exactly. papacy, the Roman, the Roman, I mean, the papists and the papacy, they are now looking on how they can actually enslave everyone. Mm -hmm. If they can put you in their box, then you're not going to be able to go anywhere because yeah. your power only resides as you express your will, willingness to you know, to want to worship God. Amen. And that's how you're empowered, you're enlightened, and how you can walk in the right di directions. Hmm. That's amazing. God created us as moral beings. Oh, yes. yes. He gave us the freedom to choose. Yeah. We have an intrinsic need mm -hmm. for liberty, 
for freedom yes. because he created us that way. That's you know, true. one of the favorite verses, um, one of my favorite verses actually is 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it says, now the Lord is the spirit. Okay. Yeah. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there it's is liberty. liberty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we are looking into the book, The Great Controversy. Yes. Yes. And we spoke and we said that controversy speaks of a conflict. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. We are talking of the conflict between spirits. Mm. There is the spirit of liberty on one side, yeah. mm -hmm. and then there is the spirit of bondage on the other mm. side. And the spirit of bondage, unfortunately, is being represented by a power that comes under the guise mm. of religion. Yes. Mm -hmm. So now I want us to, who were these princes really? Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and what were they really protesting against. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. just go over that once once again. Okay. Mr. Nobi, I'll start with you. Now, you, you would notice something. Before I come to these princes, mm -hmm. look at this trend in the Bible. Yes. My favorite guy is, uh, is Daniel and these young people mm -hmm. in the plain of Dura. Mm -hmm. Religious liberty there was being stifled. Mm -hmm. All right. Worship the way we want. Hey. If the drums ring, everybody must bow, bow. and mm -hmm. bow. And this guy says, no, it's not that way. I have also a right to worship my God this mm. side. Mm -hmm. You have a God here, I have a God there. Now look, that same principle there is taking a thread. Mm -hmm. As you come down to these princes, mm -hmm. what is the uh, real bone of contention? Yes. Number one, you would find that even the liberty of speech mm -hmm. was not pre uh, allowed. allowed mm -hmm. yeah. Number two, you cannot not be converted to anything. Mm -hmm. You must stick to what they wanted, because mm. Mube said, it was their source of income. Remember yes. the other chapter we did? Mm. Mm. They were surviving on indulgences and yes. what? Mm. Yes. So if you bring the real uh, word, it will take away this bread. Mm. Mm. And so they were being forced, the princes and the, 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 who they represented, don't worship the way you want, mm. Mm. worship the way we want. want. And that's the plan of the devil. Because if you do so, then, everybody else must follow in a particular line. Hey. So the bone of contention there, you would notice as we go down again that then they would say they failed mm -hmm. to have it amicably. Mm -hmm. They said, okay, let's put in the magistrate. Mm -hmm. hey. right? And yeah. so they were contesting, you cannot bring the magistrate mm -hmm. on affairs of my conscience. Just. No, no. No, you can't. No. Mm -hmm. The magistrate is a civic responsibility. Mm -hmm. yes. I have got my own conscience that I must reflect on. Yes. And so it was another problem that they faced. Mm. So they said, no, we can't. Come down here, let's talk. The church, the Roman church there, they said, it cannot have uh, control over everybody. Yes. I must have a right to worship the way I understand yeah. God. So the princes were standing for that pr principle of reformation. Mm. Allow us to worship the way we understand, yes. and the Bible, and the Bible alone. Yes. Don't tell us stories about somebody else. Don't tell us doctrines of other people. Yep. Give us the doctrine of God, yep. and we survive by it. That's the point of contention in this topic. Mm. When we look at this system of religion, yes. mm -hmm. it was very oppressive. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it was cruel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was corrupt. Mm -hmm. True. Mm -hmm. Now, here is a group of men who are standing against this system yeah. mm -hmm. and saying you cannot take away our God. Yes, you heart. can't. No. Where were they getting this courage? Yeah. yeah. This determination, yeah. Brother Brighton, this firmness. Yeah. What was their anchor? You know, uh, one thing I, I want to assume kept them ablaze. Yeah. In matters of conscience, yes. the majority has no power. No mm. power. In matters of conscience, yeah. we only have one source. 2 Timothy 3, verse 16, all scripture is given by inspiration of God Amen. and is profitable, mind you, for doctrine. Yeah. You cannot impose your doctrine on, on me. me. No. It is pro profitable for doctrine, for reproof. Oh, yes. for if teaching. you want to correct yeah, me, yeah. the word of God, for teaching, as you say it, Mr. Yeah. Noob, if you want to teach me, use the word of God. Amen. For instruction in yes. righteousness, use the word of God. Mm. And so when these princes realized this, yeah. and then they realized that someone else yeah. wants to impose their doctrine on yeah. us, mm. someone else wants to correct us on laws they have set themselves, yes. someone else wants to teach us what they themselves came up with, then the princes stood up yeah. and they started protesting. Because they believed that in matters faith. Faith. Mm. of faith, mm. thank you, in mm. matters of faith, mm. no one yeah. can impose on you 
what you need to believe yes. in. Yes. We have only one source in matters of faith Amen. and in matters of conscience. Amen. Sola Scriptura. Amen. Amen. Religious liberty is actually a human right. Yes. Now we are going to take a break and after the break we are going to continue with the issue of religious liberty. We want to see and to learn if now our religious liberty is being threatened or if we are still safe. Mm -hmm. Join us after the break. Reformers came from different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. There were those who came from poverty-stricken backgrounds, mm -hmm. very humble backgrounds. Yes. But in Germany, at this point in time, we see princes mm -hmm. rising up. Yeah. And before the break, we're talking about the fact that they were able to stand with courage, mm -hmm. with firmness, and with determination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we just want to establish to say, how were they able to stand so firm when the winds of persecution were blowing? Brother Tabello. Mm. <laughs> Chapter 1, verse 9, mm -hmm. it says, be strong and courageous. Hey. And just to summarize the verse, it says that the Lord is with you. Yes. With us wherever you go. Amen. Mm -hmm. So this is always the situation. Mm -hmm. I recall a moment in the book of Second Kings, Chapter 6, yeah. Yeah. where Elisha, is faced with, with uh, an army. Mm -hmm. And next to him is a young man who is doubtful yeah. about mm -hmm. the situation. Mm -hmm. Yes. But Elisha says in chapter 6, verse 17, 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 17, mm -hmm. he prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes yeah. that he may see. Yeah. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire mm -hmm. round about Elisha. Yeah. Mm. So, in situations where we feel under pressure, yeah. where there is a lot of strife, where mm. there is a lot of threat, threat mm. where we feel mm. fear, we should always remember that the angels of the Lord are uh, around about yeah. those sure. that say yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So these princes uh, had this in their mind. Yeah. They knew mm -hmm. that there is nothing that can bring them down. Mm. There is nothing mm. that can mm. uh, dissuade them, yeah. nothing that can make them that can turn them away from the Thank you. Amen. It's Amen. very beautiful to see. Thank you, my brother, those yeah. powerful words. You see, th there's only one foundation. Mm. Any, house, any house that is built must be built upon a foundation. On the rock. Yes. yes. So when you come to the book of Matthew, chapter 7, because it gives you the an analogy of two groups yeah. of individuals. And then it says there, therefore, Matthew, chapter 7, verse 24 to 25, it says, therefore, whosoever heareth these things, yeah. and these sayings of mine, mm -hmm. and doeth them, I will will liken him unto a wise man mm -hmm. which built his house upon a rock. Yeah. Mm. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that mm. house, and it actually fell not, for it was founded on the rock. the rock. So in order for one to stand when it's come to religious you know, issue, yeah. mm -hmm. you got to have to be, you know, you have to stand upon something. Yes. And Christ is that rock. So I believe these individuals, the princes, they actually understood also the truth. So actually they, were true, they, were, they chose deliberately to mm. want to establish their whatever they are upon the word. I mean, we've been going through a lot of exercise looking at different, you know, reformers. Mm. And one thing is common with the reformers is that the Bible was the only foundation upon which they could build their doctrine. Yes. Mm. So as they were building upon the doctrine, now this is the wind you know, of conscience, of, you know, liberty of conscience being threatened. Mm. So in order for them, to, for them to be able to stand and anyone to be able to stand against this tide of, of, of this uh, falsehood, mm. yes. you will have to be able, able to, to be established first and foremost upon the word of the Lord. Then you're going to be able to stand. So the Bible and the truth of God was actually the foundation upon the feet. Mm. Now you take uh, two points from Matthew. Mm -hmm. He likes Matthew. I'm picking it as well. <laughs> Matthew 11, 25 first, 28 mm. rather. Mm -hmm. Come hey. unto me. Hey, me. All right? Yeah. So all those who labor and are heavy laden, Neither. do what? Come, come, come unto me. me. If you are invited also, come. Mm. Yeah. As you come to Christ, mm -hmm. there's something that happens there. In Revelation, he says, uh, I'm standing at the door. Mm. And knock. Mm -hmm. And knocking. And knocking. And knocking a knock on your door. Door of your heart. If you open, mm -hmm. I will come. Mm -hmm. So you, you see here, there's now plurality. 
You, there's an understanding. I'm not alone. Yes. The challenge we have is fear because you become afraid, especially if you're alone. Mm -hmm. And in this setting here, you are told, come, mm -hmm. I'll mm -hmm. give you rest. I'll mm -hmm. give you peace. Mm -hmm. Then Matthew 5, verse 29. Uh, let's begin 28. These uh, disciples mm -hmm. are having a setting like that of the princes. Mm -hmm. Now, in verse 29, then says uh, the, the leaders of that time, we gave you instructions, you guys. Mm. Don't teach about this name of Jesus. Mm. Mm. But you're going all over Jerusalem, your business of teaching. Yeah. Guess what the answer is? Mm. Peter and Apostle replied, we must obey God mm -hmm. rather than men. men. Mm. And that's the principle that is taking toll here. Mm. So the protest of the princes was uh, in that light to say nothing and nothing mm. and nothing must take stage. Mm -hmm. if God is not in it. Oh, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So whatever you have, that doctrine, does it have the truth of God? Hey. So I cannot be told of stories mm -hmm. if there's a condemnation I should have in the word of God. So the fears a number of times causes compromise. Because mm -hmm. that's compromising from the family, family setting. And there we go, church, you compromise. Somebody's leading a compromise. But what do they say? Mm -hmm. But it's wrong, it's wrong. Mm -hmm. Hey. Wrong is wrong. So we need to stand for this because that conscience mm. is important because yeah. it is the center in which God communes with us. Amen. 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 Looking at the doctrine of yes. God, yes. that's actually, I want to believe, was the whole root of the protest. Okay. Because if we bring it to context, mm. we will realize that they protested when they realized yeah. that the word of God mm -hmm. was being tainted yeah. by, the, by the unrighteous. You see, the, the, the empire wanted to dilute the word of God. Yes. It did, they, they, did, they, were, they were very smart in doing yeah, it. Smart. If, if you actually read the, the previous chapters, <laughs> yeah. it tells you, Tabelo, that you see, when the devil realized yes. that he cannot fight with them by mm, sword anymore, yes. he said, I will take the truth. Yeah. The message they so possess, yes. I will dilute that message and it will appear to them as the truth. Yes. Only it will not be the truth. Yeah. And gradually the truth will fall away up to a point whereby they keep following something yes. that they believe is the truth, but it's not the it's truth. Not. Hence the doctrine of, of God, <laughs> Mr. Nube, when you doctrine bring it up. Men. Hence but they were fighting for this doctrine yeah. that they knew to be true. Yeah. That was now tainted by the devil. Mm. Just like 2 Corinthians 6 verse 14 says, yeah. for what fellowship does righteousness yes, yes. and unrighteousness have? Yeah. And what communion has light with darkness? Mm, it was the, their aim to separate what was true yeah. according to scripture and what the leaders of the time mm. wanted to present to them yeah. as the truth, which I think brings a challenge to yes. us. Yes. You see, there's something amazing. They were fighting the system, yeah. not because the system was at war with their lifestyles, mm -hmm. but because the system was at war with the word of God. Yes. We live in an era whereby we've got leaders who fight the system, not because the system is at war with the word of God, mm -hmm. but because the system is at war with their lifestyles. Yeah. So we need <laughs> reformers yes. and martyrs yes. who will fight against the system. Yeah. Because the system is fighting against the word of yeah. God. Yeah. Yes. Coming back to 2021. Okay. Mm. We still have to fight for freedom of mm. conscience mm. and freedom of expression. There are some hot issues yeah. that we are having to contend with okay. mm. nowadays. Like, for instance, the issue of homosexuality. Okay. Hey and uh, uh, queerness yeah. mm. and all these other things that are coming in strange and weird things. Mm. Actually, these things are being shoved down our throats. Okay. Yes, they are. We are being told that you cannot speak like that about homosexual people. Mm. No. You are being homophobic. Mm. And when I look at that, I see it as a curtailment of uh, my right to express my views okay. and, and my, my, my beliefs. In fact, there are some people who have really suffered yeah. because of this homosexuality issue mm -hmm. and these other issues that are, are, are there right now. In, in America, mm -hmm. in Europe, they have lost businesses. Mm -hmm. They have lost uh, mm -hmm. whatever it is that they had mm -hmm. because of this. And in this, we see the enmity of the devil. So I just want us to bring it, to bring it home now to say, how is our liberty a... Uh, being threatened 
in modern days. The issue of uh, the LGBT movement, whatever that is, mm -hmm. it, it's actually limiting us from preaching the gospel to everyone. What the Bible really? says, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached to every, to all over the world as a witness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because God understands that there are issues in the world that he can only save, I mean solve. Mm -hmm. And there's no any other sin. Homosexuality, it's a, it's a problem. Mm -hmm. You know, and God has a solution. God is mm -hmm. not against the homosexuals. It's against homosexuality. Anyone that is a lesbian having that inclination to want to go after a person of his own gender, mm -hmm. it's a problem. It's a spiritual problem that needs a spiritual solution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So by the government trying to put laws around that, that, that issue, mm -hmm. they are trying to promote it while they know that they cannot give an answer. Mm -hmm. So it's actually threatening us. Now I have to limit myself not to go as far as I should go freely while I've been given that conscience of preaching the gospel. So when it's come to the issue of homosexuality and lesbianism, really the government won't, won't bring a solution to it because they're actually promoting it. And God is seeking on how he can save all the homosexuals, provided if they're going to give themselves to God. So we, are, we as the people of God, while we are going to be meeting this kind of mm -hmm. resist resistance, mm -hmm. we'll have to make up our mind to say that God has called us in such a time as this. I just want to say, uh, share a verse quickly uh, with you in the book of Jude, where the Bible speaks about we need to contend. And then it specify what should we be contending with. It says, verse 3, Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the, com the common salvation, it was needful for me yeah. to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. So we need, we'll have to enter into a warfare. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It has already been declared. We, our hard desire is to meet an homosexual and tell them the truth. Mm -hmm. No matter what the restrictions that, you know, the government will try to put in place to try and resist us, you know, block us from going there, but we'll have to find a way on how we can bring the truth. Homosexuality is not different from any other sin. Amen. Mm -hmm. So what we need here is an understanding mm -hmm. of this conscience principle. Mm -hmm. In page 201, Great Controversy, there's a statement that says, let us reject this decree. Mm -hmm. yes. Which decree? The decree of uh, denying oh, yes. each person a right to worship God. Mm -hmm. Because they wanted to put their own things. Now, listen to what happens. All these people that we see, they could be lesbian, they could be anything, they, could, they are still God's people. Mm -hmm. And God has a mission of reaching those. Oh, yes. You know what I've seen? Someone said it's like uh, fake notes, mm -hmm. a fake 200 rand mm. note, and a correct one. Mm. Uh, for us to know the right thing, present the right 200 not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just preach the right thing. Mm. Continue. Mm. Don't think God cannot reach mm. these mm -hmm. people. In his own time, <laughs> some of these people we thought were out. God says, I have some sheep that are out. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. So our business here is to remember that who is God? Mm. The owner of the universe. Maker. Yes. Who are these people? Yeah. Individuals, sinners like we are. Oh, yes. All of them. But what do we do? Let's go preach there. Mm. Yeah. Preach with love. And then you, you'll be surprised. Mm. That's one, somebody will come and say, guess what? What you said on that show touched my heart. Mm. Yeah. And it smelled. God is able to melt these stones that mm. are there. Yeah. Because you, you see the idea here, the problem that we're facing there is, is, is in that page again. Can I continue? Mm -hmm. The puppies determined to put down what they termed daring obstinacy. Mm -hmm. So they saw in these people, in these princes, mm. some people who were refusing to just accept what is not right. Mm -hmm. And they thought, these, are, these guys are rude. But God is a message that he has put. Mm. And somehow, somehow, someone is going to pick up this light and follow. Because yeah. what it does, this homosexuality thing, it is coming also to divide the churches. Go, mm. go and see what is happening in the churches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the churches are, are divided. That same page says it is causing divisions mm. among reformers, the reformation supporters. Mm. So there will be some divisions, some small things divide us. We're divided by education, we're divided by money, we're divided by your sin, yep. because your sin is known, he is better than me, this yeah. sin is bigger, this yeah. sin is smaller, yeah. and divisions begin. Yeah. Once we begin that division, that's the deception of the devil. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Then once we're divided, we can't think of going to preach. Mm. No. We're not busy with the, each other. And so that message the devil put in, that's why these guys said, no, we're going to revolt. Mm. You cannot take us in this way. So mm. whatever sin it is, Sister Modesta, yes. doesn't matter. Our duty, let's preach. Yeah. 
Yes. Amen. Preach what? Amen. The correct truth. Oh, yes. Don't worry about who is doing what. Yes. Because if we do that, uh, someone said it's like uh, jackets that have gone to the dry clean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They don't ask each other, hey, bro, why are you here? So dirty. <laughs> <laughs> they, they are, they've all come to dry clean. Eh? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they just go in without talk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the journey, they're all clean. Amen. So our job, continue to evangelize. Continue the right path. Mm. And they will see that. That's why we are the salt of the yeah. earth. Yeah. We are the light. Yeah. So mm-hmm. once light comes, Darkness will disappear. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Jesus always spoke the truth. Oh, yes. yeah. In love. In love. But he spoke Amen. the truth. Yes. Hey. Jesus was not politically yes. correct. Yes. Oh, yeah. And therefore, even us in this day and age, we cannot be politically correct. Yes. But we will speak the, the truth, truth in love. love. Mm. For now, we are going to take a break. And when we come after the break, we are going to conclude this protest of the princes. Thank you for joining us. Um, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. Mm-hmm. The apostle writes, Yes. Mm. And he says, For we wrestle not against flesh, flesh and, and blood, blood yeah. Yeah. but against principalities, principalities. against powers, yeah. Yeah. against the rulers of the darkness of in this world, high places. against ah, spiritual yeah. weak, wickedness yes. in mm. high places. Yes. In as much as the controversy is between Jehovah mm. and the devil. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They both use human agents. Yes. And therefore, in trying to quell the reformation, mm. the enemy also used his human agents. Yeah. Mm. And one of them was um, the emperor. Mm-hmm. Brother Franza, tell us more about this emperor. Oh, yes. You know, this was actually the midnight of the reformation itself. Okay. You know, mm-hmm. when, when, when things are blocked on every side. Yeah. And you are you are actually standing there. You don't know where to go. That mm. that was the situation mm. at this time. So a dark uh, a dark and threatened day uh, had come for the reformation. Yeah. Now, as you read the, that paragraph there, it speaks about a certain man who was actually an emperor, who was Charles V. Yeah. So it says Charles, okay, the fifth was bent uh, on crushing the reformation, mm. but often, as you say, often as he raised his hand to strike. He had been forced to, I mean, to turn uh, aside the blow. Yes. So here he was actually determined. You know, you always find these characters who are so bold in yeah. their mm. own wickedness. Yeah. <laughs> so his mission was to say, you know what, whatever that God has been building all along, all these nations have been under God and stuff, I'm going to blow it, crush mm. it completely, and then I'm going to get my way out. Yes. Now, what happened was, while he was still trying to maneuver his things in place, yes. yeah. God, ha- God came through. I just want to read for you and show you how how it actually happened. It says again and again, the same paragraph, Mm -hmm. the immediate uh, destruction of all who dares to oppose themselves to Rome appeared inevitable. Mm -hmm. But at a critical moment, the armies of the Turk appeared on the the eastern frontier. No, I mean, or the king of France or even the Pope himself, jealous of increasing greatness of the emperor, I mean, made war uh, upon him. And thus, amid, amid the strife and tumult of nations, the Reformation had, had been left uh, to, to strengthen and extend. Yeah. So while, while he was trying to maneuver his things, God yes. orchestrated something yes. else. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. The army came from Norway mm. yeah. <laughs> and come and do war with this man. And then that's how actually his mission at that time was actually suspended. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the Reformation continues. <laughs> what are we saying? That while we are going through this uh, stage where, you know, our consciences are going to be forced in the wrong direction, yes. yes. mm-hmm. we'll have to remember that God is able to orchestrate yes. events. Yes. God is able to stand up and call the bird from the, uh, from the east and west and north and to come and intervene for our, on our behalf. So we don't have anything to fear. Mm-hmm. I mean, they had no anywhere of escape. Every door was shut. I mean, every, every hope was actually dashed, but they could only stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. So the Lord came in and they were actually given a chance again to be able to extend and expand the work of reformation. Amen. Mm-hmm. You know, th- that reminds me of that scripture that says, when the enemy comes like a fly, oh, yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. the Lord raises Amen. his standard yeah. against him. Mm. Yeah. And he says, whoa. Mm. Stop. In as much as we are talking of a, a persecution or, or the violation of mm. our conscience yes. and mm. judgment, yes. this even happens in our personal lives. Yes, mm -hmm. true. You know, the devil comes as a flood mm. man mm. Uh, in our personal lives mm. trying to cause commotion. But there is a God who can raise his standard oh, yeah. against him yeah. and, and thwart his purposes. Mm. True. Mm. Mm. You know, uh, Sister Modesta, it um, reflects on me why this thing is going as it is. Yes. Uh, the prince is uh, making a protest. Mm. And I was just thinking about it. But are we protesting enough <laughs> where we are? Mm. Now, when South Africa goes for protest, mm. you know there will be fireworks. Yes. Oh, yeah. Fireworks. Yeah. Uh, the police have to go there and do yes, some things. Are. But uh, <laughs> you, you see, so yeah. there's a protest enough, and people have learned it mm -hmm. in our country. Mm -hmm. If you don't protest enough, you never see the road. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah? Mm -hmm. You may not find water and electricity for 17 years. Mm. So that, that has caused a situation where people have learned, but, okay, if we talk this way, mm. they will hear. And most of the times it happens. Mm. So I think maybe we're not protesting them enough against the devil. And so the lives of God's people mm. are not as shining as these princes. Yeah. Mm. Not as shining as uh, Martin Luther. Mm. Mm. And so we need that type of understanding. Uh, in um, page 205, there's something of interest. Mm -hmm. uh, the Bible and the Bible alone is the rule of faith and duty. Mm. The two words there. Mm -hmm. So uh, sometimes we rush faith. What about duty? Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. The way we work. There's duty needed there. Yeah. You're a worker or you're a business person, whatever. But there must be duty. Mm -hmm. In the duty, in my work frame, mm. is Christ able to be seen there? If yeah. not, protest. <laughs> yes. Until these things are right. Mm. Then he concludes it and says, great dangers threatened the reformation. Mm. But its advocates still trusted their cause with God. Mm. And they pledged themselves to be firm to the gospel. You know, the, the word I want to underline there, firm. Mm -hmm. No, not in your Kenya, firm, strong. So there's a need, there's a need at a point to stand up. And then Luke 9 concludes and says, if anyone wants to come after me, mm. you must carry, mm. you must mm. carry his cross. cross. Mm. There's nothing for free in this journey. Mm. You mm. must carry your cross and do what? Follow me. Mm. Luke is nice because he says, don't do it once but follow me every daily. day. Mm -hmm. It's a daily activity. Mm -hmm. This protest must happen every day mm -hmm. and stand for this kingdom. Represent it with this banner. Mm -hmm. Brother Brighton. You know, uh, there's, there's a question that uh, Mr. Ngube actually brought up that, uh, that, that, that left me wondering. Mm -hmm. you, you said, are we protesting? Enough. <laughs> when Mrs. Ellen G. White yeah. writes in the earlier chapters, yeah. she says the reason why mm. we do not see or we are not part of any persecutions yeah. today, yes. it is because the world <laughs> has got nothing to persecute. Exactly. Mm. We as the church of God, mm. actually Jesus says you are the salt of the of world, the earth, yeah. but what use is the salt if yeah. it has lost its savor? Mm. Mm. I am led to believe that maybe we are slacking <laughs> as Christians and we have lost our savor. Yeah? Hence, Ellen G. White says, the reason why there are no persecutions this day, it's mm. because the world has got nothing mm. to persecute. Mm. Mm. We have aligned our standards with those of the world. Yeah. We lack reformers in our day. We lack people who will stand for the truth until the heavens it's fall. fall. Mm. And when she realizes this, she says, the reason why we don't have persecutions, it's because the, the church and the world yeah. are now in one accord. In one, mm -hmm. If the church and the world are in one accord, how will the world persecute the There's church? No need. Because the church is on their side. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think this is a call for reformers and, and for martyrs Amen. nowadays Amen. who will stand up for yeah. the truth. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's very true. I mean, it's very nice to know that like, we are living in a time where the law is still allowing us to exercise our freedom of choice, of yes. worship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if it's still in the document, we know that very soon they're going to obliterate all of those. They're going to repudiate even the, the, the thing. Mm. But I like the quotation here. It says religious tolerance, I mean, uh, toleration had been legally established and the evangelical uh, states were resolved to oppose the, the infringement, infringement of their rights. Yeah. 
So if the, your right is still there, why, why can't you just stand up and, 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 and we can see that our right very soon is going to be infringed because with the coronavirus that we are seeing right now, they are slowly but surely try and, and, mm. and repudiate yeah. you know, the, the, the freedom of, of, of worship yes, because yes. if a state can stand up and say that the church must be shut, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What and about this? It's shot. <laughs> it's shot. I mean, we've got a, a, a global crisis that is going on, which yeah. God, only God can intervene yeah. to come and bring a permanent solution. Yeah. But we are trying by all means as states to try and push God as far as possible from mm. us, and yet we still want to have a solution. Yeah. So we can see behind the movement, even of the coronavirus, mm. it's, not, it's not a God-ordained kind of thing. Mm -mm. And we'll have to sit down and reflect, okay, what will be the next step? Mm. If we are going to be given so in, in so so easily, because when they are going to come into our houses, they'll begin to say, if you worship in your house, then we're going to take you out yeah. mm -hmm. because you're going to spread a virus. So we need to be mm. very sharp enough and well established so that when these things are coming on our way, we we'll know how to react and how to stand against whatever that is actually threatening our consciences. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the group of reformers, there were some powerful men. Mm. Oh, yes. There were some who were of the idea that they could use their power mm -hmm. to advance mm -hmm. this cause. Yeah. I'm going to read uh, yes. from page 209. Okay. And it, said, it says, one of the principles most firmly maintained by Luther was that there should be no resort to secular power in yeah. support of the Reformation. Yeah. Oh, yes. And no appeal to arms for mm. its defense. Yeah. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. He rejoiced that the gospel was confessed by princes of the empire, but when they proposed to unite in a defensive league, yeah. he declared that the doctrine of the gospel should be defended by God mm, alone. Yeah. Mm. The less men meddled in the work, the more striking would be God's intervention in its behalf. Yeah. And in another statement, he speaks and he says that um, we would rather die mm. 10 times than mm. see the gospel cause one drop of blood mm. to be shed. Oh, yes. mm. So, when it comes to the gospel of Christ, no blood should mm. be shed mm. for his cause. It is only the enemy who uses that kind of, oh, yes. of, of a method. Mm. Mm. But us, we are to be like our, uh, our savior. Mm. We are to be like lambs of the slaughter. Yeah. Mm. The cross of Christ must, must be born. Let your highness be without fear. We shall do more by our prayers than all our enemies by their boastings. Yeah. I'm glad you mentioned, uh, I'm glad you mentioned that the state, the yeah. state and the church, and the, the, the church mm. cannot be one. Mm. Yes. Uh, you mentioned that Martin Luther was against the formation of mm. a, a defense, a defense force. Mm. Yeah. Uh, for, for this. For the gospel. Uh, yes. Mm. If you look at other religious, other religions, mm -hmm. if you look at other religions, you can look at Islam mm -hmm. for an example. Yeah. They say they are a religion of peace. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is what they say mm -hmm. in this day. But if you look at their history, mm -hmm. peace is not what they, oh, yeah. they, okay. they hey. deviled in. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was not what they did. They were a warring, a warring religion. Mm. And because they were victorious, mm. the, the writings continued to support this. Mm. Mm. So only when, only when they were getting pushed back, they started to, to ease up yeah. and, and say that it's a religion of mm. peace. Mm. Mm. So, so clearly you can see that state and, and, and church, uh, and church mm. do not mix. Mm. Another thing I wanted to, to point out is the execution of John Huss. Okay. Mm -hmm. The... The resultant uh, situation, mm. the aftermath of that uh, mm. execution mm. was not good okay. for, for the papacy yes. and for the emperor. That is actually the reason he did not execute Martin Luther. Luther. Mm. Yeah. He didn't want that situation to... to propel. To, yes. Mm. He didn't want that happening again. Again, yes, yes. And now you see in this case, in the deed of Spears, yeah. mm -hmm. you see that... Uh, the princes mm. uh, have come with with a uh, protest. Yes, mm -hmm. they have come in protest mm -hmm. with a document. Yeah, yeah. They have formalized yeah. it. Yeah, mm. and this document was partially compiled by Martin Luther. Okay. Mm -hmm. So even if he's not allowed here, he wasn't actually yeah. allowed there yeah. in yeah. person. He was yeah. not allowed yeah, but he was to be there in writing. But he was there in writing. <laughs> he was there in writing. Yeah. Mm. So something I want to point out is that all all things mm -hmm. that happen. Mm. It may not be good sometimes, yeah. but sometimes it is. Yeah. 
but all of them work to, 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 to the Together. good of those mm. who serve the Lord. Mm. Amen. Amen. To conclude the session, I'm going to read again from the Great Controversy, mm. page 210. The writer says, from the secret place of prayer mm. came the power that shook the world in the Great Reformation. Yeah. Mm. There, with holy calmness, the servants of the Lord set their feet upon the rock mm. and his promises. Oh, yeah. yes. And we also learn that the courage, faith, and firmness of those men of God yeah. gained for the succeeding ages the liberty of thought and of conscience yeah. that we enjoy today. Mm. Oh, yes. And therefore, even you, you have a contribution yeah. to make. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whatever decision you take today oh, yes. will have an impact mm -hmm. on the succeeding Amen. generations. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining us yeah. today. We are going to close off, but join us in the next episode. Okay. I'm going to ask my brother Tabello to pray for us as we close. Okay. Let us pray. Our loving Father in heaven, we thank you for this day that you have given us. Lord, we thank you for your guidance. Lord, we thank you for your protection. Lord, as we go our separate ways, we ask that the Holy Spirit continue to guide and protect us. This is our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Amen.